What's going on, homies? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Another video, man. We're taking on another task. Um, so in this video, I'm going to cover how to uh, ZZ coil your 2JZ. So these coil packs, I purchased these coil packs on eBay. Um, they're bootleg. I'll tell you right off the bat. There's some bootleg Toyota parts, but they look pretty damn good. They're 24 bucks a pop. Um, so it's like just a little over a hundred and something like hundred and twenty dollars uh, free shipping take a look boom so they're pretty good um, we're gonna be using the Autosport engineering uh, brackets for the coil packs um, these look pretty good they're machined really nicely I can't really complain about these brackets from auto uh, from auto engineering uh, auto sport engineering sorry so in order to do this you're gonna need some common stuff you're gonna need some glx coil uh, uh some glx wire like this uh, i'm gonna put everything in the description so i'm not really gonna cover too much of the part number stuff right now so you're gonna have some of this boom uh what else you're gonna need some basic tools man so for for a lot of you mongrels out there uh yeah you're, you're gonna need some crimping tools these are pretty cheap you can purchase these bad boys off amazon for low dollar and you can get yourself some wire strippers now mine's a little bit more fancy cornell but they don't have to they don't have to be like that for you um we're gonna be using uh some For this measurement, I'm actually going to use a tailor's tape, which is like one of these joints because it's actually more realistic to how the wire will run. So let's say the wire start here, make its way under the cover, and this is this will be the longest run, obviously. So this run will come here. So let's say give me some space. So let's say 26 26 inches. Um, so the longest run is going to be 26 inches. So from here you can look at where the next connector should be. So 26. So then you got at the five at the five mark there'll be another connector at the eight mark will be a connector at the 10 mark there'll be another connector you can do eight and nine eight and nine uh you can have a connector there two connectors at the th at the 16 mark you'll have a connector 16 and 17 and then the rest will just be the biggest loom of the wire coming back into the main uh connector in the rear so all right cool so there we go 26 inches to the main connector See, if you look, it's on there nice and crimped, but I, I don't like that it's not tight enough, so I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna use my E setting on this crimper to just really bite down on it. Okay. Yeah, this looks nice and tight. Cool, that's, com that's not coming up, so. So take that, I'm gonna run it right in here. Perfect. And that's our second one. So we have our power and ground runs. So it looks good. So there's different ways that you can do this. You can um, you can run, you can make splits in the power in the ground, and you could do it like that. You can make splits on each coil so that when it meets here, you um you twist it together, you can solder it, uh, you use a small amount of solder, then put some uh, heat shrink over that, and you know, heat that up and heat shrink it, then run your your um, insulation tubes and make your runs that way. So I'm still kind of undecided how I'm gonna do it. So just tune in and we'll figure it out.
this bad boy right here. This thing cooks. All right. All right. So So I switched out the uh So this will work pretty quickly. And that's it. So once you got this right here, you can go ahead and slide in a piece of one of those get you a little a little heat gun So you get a connection like this. Whew. It's kind of hot. All right. So you got something like that. And a wire that comes out this way. And you're pretty much going to do the same thing to all of them. You're going to make your 
different runs for all your different um, uh, all your different um, runs for your connectors and when you're all done you should have everything all set together heat shrinked all the way through and then you can go ahead before you put any connectors on you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna you're gonna add all your your insulation you're gonna add all your insulation over it and then your final pieces of heat shrink which will be a large large pieces of heat shrink that you will heat shrink over the insulation all right so i'm gonna fast forward this part and just enjoy it. all right so here we go peace all right so at this point we have our power and ground harness done so this being the end that's going to be here so starting there we'll be coming in through here you should have each uh, each splice section there should be like an x almost so you'll have two wires two wires like this that will be coming to this coil pack You'll have another two wires or a splice going in the opposite direction right here. That'll be for the rear six cylinder six coil pack. So you see you have like an X. So down to the next section, you're going to have the same situation happening. You're going to have an X pattern here. Uh, two power ground wires going one way and two power ground wires going the opposite way. So it's an X and on the last two cylinders they're going to be going in the same direction going forward so you're going to have these two wires coming in forward here and then the two final wires which will be going to cylinder one right here so this is what you're going to be looking at so once you've done this part which is the probably the hardest part the easiest part will be then running your trigger wire so each one has a separate trigger wire so one two three four five six six different color trigger wires which will be run um parallel with this and and then you're going to do once you run all your wires you're going to start working on getting your connectors set up you're going to do your connectors and your insulation so the connectors is last sorry the insulation will be uh next after you run your next set of wires the insulation the termination at the connector in the rear and then finally the termination of the plugs um at each coil pack and that's pretty much all all you have to do like like i said this is pretty straightforward they ain't this ain't they ain't no mysteries there ain't no mysteries there's no magic to it um it's pretty simple basic wiring so all right so All right, gents, so at this part right here, I am absolutely addicted to sugar-free toffee candy for some reason. I don't know what's going on. It's gonna show good. Anyways, at this point, we've made our power harness. And it's, it's gonna be I know that's such such bad etiquette. It's gonna be a power and ground harness. And what we're gonna start doing now, I say we, it's just me. What I'm gonna start doing, and I'm gonna start running my my wires. I really do need to invest in something to like hold wires for me because this shit kind of sucks for the birds. All right, so what I'm trying to explain in this part of the video is once you do your power and ground harness and you pretty much figure out where, where the uh, runs are going to start coming out of that part of the harness, out of the power and run wires, um, what you're going to do is that you're going to start uh, pretty much select any color uh, wire. And the easiest way that I figured out how to do it after doing it a few times is just cut whatever the longest run is, which is 26 inches just cut every color wire in that same length or it, well at least half of them in the same length and the other half 
in the other so three 26 inches and then three and like 15 you know that way it gives you enough room to like really like figure things out because what ended up happening was i created this harness and i measured everything so exactly that the harness ended up really being really really tight so i ended up doing a version two which i'm going to cover in this video as well but in this part here as you can see i'm just making my bunches uh of which uh runs are going to go to what cylinder and that's pretty much all i'm doing right now next part of the video i'm going to show you how i lay them out on top of the engine and just verify that they're all going to fall within the area where i want them to be before i go ahead and terminate the harness and um finish it up pretty much all right here we go so you can start understanding how this stuff is coming together all right boom so these wires here that pertains to all these wires here pertain to cylinder five and six here where's my black ground here's one black ground so two power wires two ground wires separate cylinders like an x and here's one wire going this way and one wire one pink wire going the opposite way so all right oh, man. all right so press more tape okay so now you see what's happening cylinder six Cylinder five, move down, everything's together. Uh, this purple one, we can pull it a little bit further out. So is that binding? Let me see what else. Let me pull it down. The yellow wire, pull it down. All right, cool. So you start having this situation happen here. So now we're moving into the next bunch, which is gonna be the next cylinders. So we got six, five, four, and three. So again, two ground, two power wires. Boom, two ground, two power wires, like that. Boom. And you can pick any one of these two to be whatever wire you want it to be. So I'm going to pick the yellow wire to be my cylinder four. And the other one to be cylinder three. So it will go like this. Pull on this two wires. Snug them up. Oh. All right. So like this and like this. All right, put a piece of tape here. that that's that understand next two these ones are pretty simple this purple wire is cylinder two which is a bit long but it is what it is let's go like this oh let's snip the excess all right so another piece of tape snip all right cool so that's that cylinder two and finally cylinder one all right, we can tug this white wire just a little bit there. So just make sure everything is how you want it. It's purple wire again. I want it a little bit more. So, all right, so now we're left with this. All right, let's go to the engine so you can get a visual of what's happening. What's happening? All right, over here. We have our end connector. That's gonna come back here, terminate right here. We have now, hold on. We have now our cylinder six, cylinder five. I'm just tucked underneath here. Then you have our five, six, five, four, cylinder four, cylinder three. This tucks underneath. Okay, so that stays here. That's that cylinder. That's this cylinder. And then we have. Then we have cylinder two, which is here. And finally, cylinder one, that goes here. So now all you really have to do at this point is just do your insulation, do all the insulation, and then terminate everything. Well, do the insulation, 
then add your um, your heat shrink and then finally do your, your termination and then labeling and you're all done so for me it's taking me a little longer because this is my first one doing it for this car and you know I have to kind of like figure it out and two um, I'm also making a video so when you're making a video shit kind of takes a little longer because you're cutting and editing and doing a bunch of bullshit but pretty much you guys get the, the gist of it I think at this point I'm pretty safe to say that I'm gonna go ahead and do um, a time lapse and just finish it and then at the end I'll talk about whatever you know whatever little things I run into I'll talk about it then all right so all right here we go man peace what's good what's going on youtube um this is version two of the one zz coil pack harness so if you're tuning into this is because you're here to see part two of how to redo this harness in a different way so after further testing um and completion of this harness what i noticed was that when I did this harness, I measured everything so exact that I didn't leave any space at all, like no space at all for any like wiggle room. So the harness was really tight against the coils and I really didn't like that. So this time around, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to shrink the thickness of the harness, um, probably try to get away from using uh the large insulation if possible but even if i can't um i'm gonna shrink things down so what i'm gonna do is that we're gonna attempt to do one longer runs for the coils so that way we have more flexibility and two we're gonna do partial concentric twisting of the <laughs> yeah we ain't do any of that shit uh we just didn't have the right stuff to do it right so we just i keep saying we but it's just me um me and my other self so we ain't do shit and we just did what we could with the tools needed the tools we had so all right guys we'll use one two three four five and six all right and using our old harness we'll look to see what our trigger wire was colored so purple for cylinder one perp cylinder two was white and blue slash blue all right cylinder three was yellow yellow slash white stripe all right, so number four was orange and purple, O R G slash P R P. Uh, so number five was looks like green and green, dark green. All right, whatever. So we'll just do G R N slash G R N. And six is pink and green. So P and K slash G R N green. All right, so those are the color. Those are the color codes for the wires for the triggers. So, so now. We, this part's gonna be a little bit more tricky, but I'm not tripping about it because I know that it doesn't have to be exact like that, like I did last time. So purple, I'll put this up here so I can see it. So, all right, so at this point, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna start making all my runs. I'm gonna do more than what's necessary because the runs can be uh, whatever length. Let's go, let's aim for six inches, six six or more inches in, in length for the runs. And then we're just gonna go off of that. We'll use that as a rough estimate because you can kind of move it around all over and plug it into wherever you wanna plug it in. So we'll use that. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just time lapse the rest of it. And you guys, like I said, if, if I change up something, you'll see it and I'll address it later or ask a question in the comments and I'll address it then. All right, so follow me, here we go. So at this point, we have everything all uh, pinned out to the main plug. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is that the first two, uh, well, the last two cylinders, six and five, um, they're gonna share the power in ground splice, splice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut four wires total, right? A power ground to each, to each coil pack, and then I'm gonna splice it in the same location. 
So I'm gonna have a total of three wires per run. So the trigger, power, ground, and yeah, and that's it, trigger, power, ground. And one's gonna go one way and the other's gonna go the other way. And they're gonna actually be like equal length. And then I'm going to concentric twist that pair together, add some tube uh, shrink to it, heat it up, and that's one run. And that should be good. And then I'm gonna continue to do that for all six runs as I go. As I go down the line, there's gonna be, I obviously I cut way too much wire, but I'd rather have more than not enough. So, all right, I'm gonna time lapse this part again um, because the shit is tedious and time consuming. So, all right, here we go. My GoPro died, so on the last battery. So let's see if we can get this all finished up. So we are here at the last few uh, wires. Now, again, I'm not 100% on how this one came out as well. For some reason, I don't know how we get to this to this uh so this came out good i got two coming out here i actually wanted to pull another two from like the halfway point but for some reason i don't know why they ended up over here i can't remember what ended up happening but they're long enough that they can come back so when you guys make your own y'all can figure it out it's really not that difficult i know i know a lot i know actually now i remember what ended up happening i was running out of uh heat shrink of this specific size so i had to like spread it out because i didn't have another piece of heat shrink that i could put in the middle to make that second uh that second uh dual run out the out the middle so that's what ended up happening so i'm not too happy with it guys but it is what it is it works there's definitely not going to be a version three or well, at least not for me um, I'll make it for somebody else if somebody's interested that they want one made. I mean, I could do it on the low, but honestly, guys, I really don't have any real interest in doing it. Or you could just pay $200 <laughs> and get one. So, your choice, your move, YouTube. All right, here we go. So we got our new uh, connectors. Uh, these are actually a little bit, uh, might be a little better than the last ones. Let me see. Mm, about the same. About the same. All right. Okay, ladies and gents, we are finally done. Finally. Hey, man, wiring can take a long time sometimes, peeps. All right, so we are done. Damn, that shit kind of took some of my hairs out. Damn, tape. All right, so here we are with the new harness. Finished, terminated. Uh, I just got to kind of number the shit. And 
I could do that off camera. That's not a big deal. So let's take a look and let's take see how it fits. Okay. All right. So here we are. We need some light. Need some light in here. Uh, let's see. All right, big homies. All right, so here we are. So I think I can remember this from memory. From my memory. All right, so starting at the back. Boom, boom, boom. And the pink. Pink is number one. Cylinder here. Pop. Number one. Pink. Then we have number two. And then here. So the two. So that's that. Now we see this is what I was talking about. Where like I, I was trying to bring these wires here. So I ended up just making them longer to twist them back like that. So yeah, anyway, so. So we have this here. And at some point I'm actually gonna have this tucking underneath here underneath so it tucks down not over but this is just for demonstration so we have number this yellow is this one boom that's that then we have this one here orange boom perfect and now we have the last two purple which i know is number one i gotta clean up this connector because it's jacked up and this is number two all right so that's number two so this needs to dip down tucks into here so all right all right so anyways let me just show you so this is pretty much what we're looking at um except for number one like i said i have broke this uh coil pack so the connector is like all glued and crappy so i can't get that to fit on there correctly so we have that on there like so so this will tuck down and underneath this here so you won't really see that so it'll be hidden this whole thing will be hidden underneath underneath here like so and yeah that's pretty much it so now the only thing i have left is just to run these wires where they correspond now what i'll end up doing is this to power and ground the power and ground I could either run it straight to the battery and fuse it, or I can tie it into this right here, which is the, the igniter, the factory igniter. There's a power and ground here. I can just tie right into that harness and run it that way. So that way I already, I'm using the factory fuse, uh, which should be enough for these coil packs. If not, then I could just do it the other way around where I fuse it myself and run power and ground. And then I have my trigger wires where I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm probably going to twist all these up together and then run it inside the car so yeah guys so that's pretty much it and that's how you one zz your two jz peace how many z's does it take to jz <laughs> nah i'm fucking around but all right guys i'm out of here man this has been fun it's been real and there you have it man you got your video any questions throw it in the comments man i'll get back to you as soon as i can so all right i'm out peace